Throughout history, innovations in technology have brought about critical change to the world. Groups like Apple, Microsoft, and St. Mark's Episcopal Church are continuously striving to open new realms of possibilities. Speaking of realms, the online database used by St. Mark's is called Realm and allows people to connect with groups, message one another, register for events, donate money through the church, and it's so much more. I'm Nick Ranieri, and today I'll be introducing you to the wonderful world of Realm. Let's go! Let's say you've just become a member of St. Mark's Church, and you've given your email and birthday to be registered for Realm. You should receive this email asking you to join Realm by clicking the following link. Next, you'll be taken to this login page where you'll create a password. Once you've created a password, you'll receive a second email with another link for you to click. Clicking this will take you here, where you'll be asked to verify your date of birth. Once you finish this step, you'll be ready to begin working with Realm. Keep in mind that only members of the church can use a Realm account. Here we are at the Realm login page. This can be reached by going to the St. Mark's website and clicking here under Member Login. Once you reach the login page, you'll want to type in your email and password. If you forget your password, you can click here. If the email you use to log in is no longer your preferred email, you can call the church office at 203-966-4515 for help. Now that we're all logged in, let's explore the realm of possibilities that Realm has to offer. I already used that joke. This is the news page. We're going to look at our profile first, but we'll come back here later. Clicking on your name in the top right corner will open the following. We'll look at my profile. If you don't currently have a photo attached to your profile or you'd like to update the one you have, adding your own photo is rather easy to do. Simply click the camera icon here and choose a photo to upload. Here you can also change your email, phone number, and address. You can do this by clicking the Edit Profile button. Next to the Edit Profile button is the Manage Privacy button. Clicking this button will take you here where you can determine who gets access to your information. Make sure to save your changes before you exit the page. And here we are back at the news page. This is where you'll see the latest messages from your groups as well as upcoming events. These events can also be found by clicking on the events tab here. If you see an upcoming event and would like to register for it, you can click this link here. Once you click the link, you'll be taken to this page. Here you'll find a detailed description of the event. You can also check off who's attending the event, add a memo, and indicate if any additional guests will be attending. On the news page, you can also post a message or photo, or create an event of your own. In this sidebar on the left, we can see six different tabs. News, Messages, Events, Giving, Groups, and Directory. We've already covered news, so let's move into Messages. Messages is yet another way Realm allows you to connect with the church community. It operates similar to Facebook Messenger. Simply click this plus button, type in a name or address, write out your message, and hit send. Back to the news page. We've already covered events, so next let's go into giving. Here we have two options, give or pledge. Clicking give will take you to this page. You can enter your desired amount of money, select the fund you'd like to donate it to, and choose when and how frequently that money is donated. Realm can also remember your credit card information should you want to donate more. Simply leave this box checked. Clicking pledge will take you to this screen. This page is for you to choose a specific amount of money to donate throughout the year. For example, let's say I pledge to donate $20 to the 2017 stewardship to be given once a month from July 18th until December 25th for a total pledge of $120. However, you must have a login to make a pledge. Any donations you make will show up here. You can also click this button to filter through your donations. You can also print your giving statement from your own giving tab by clicking the print icon. And back to the news page. Next up, we have groups, yet another way Realm allows you to connect with the St. Mark's community. We'll look at the St. Mark's Parish group as an example, since every parishioner is automatically added into that group. Here, you can look at upcoming events with your group, as well as create your own events. You can also post a message or photo. Clicking Participants will show you who else is in this group, and clicking Files will allow you to look at any files that have been posted in the group. To find other groups, simply click 
find groups, and search for the group you want. They're categorized by subject. And back to the news page. Finally, we have directory. Let's say you're a member of the parish and you'd like to email Nick Ranieri about an upcoming event. You could scroll through the entire directory looking for a name, or you could use the search bar in the top right corner, type in Ranieri, and there I am. Here you'll find my contact information. And that's only part of what Realm has to offer. It truly is amazing, isn't it? As our wonderful church community continues to grow, Realm becomes more and more useful. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm Nick Ranieri. Now go forth and make disciples who live a deeper life in Christ, a more holy communion with one another, and a greater love for the world. Keep in mind, <laughs> that was my thought, I jumped yeah. in.